Oh, right, right there. That's it. That's it. Make time. Are you sure this is it? This doesn't even look like a... It looks like a road. Like yeah, yeah. Oh no, I, I talked to him the other day. I talked to him briefly. He said that it was, uh, it was kind of hidden and really secluded, but this looks... This the address. I wonder what his house is going to look like. It's probably going to be some shack, right? Something falling down in the middle of the woods. No paint on it. No shingles on the roof. Everyone's got their preference. Yeah, it all depends on what your definition of weird is. Me, I think this is kind of nice. I wonder if we're going to see any of this new stuff. Do you think it'll give us like a like a sneak peek? Maybe. Maybe. You never know. That'll be pretty neat though. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, I guess that's it. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, it's pretty much a whole... <laughs> Get out and see what happens. I wonder if he shoots anything here. Who knows? Let's just get out and try to get this shit over with. Anthony and we're here at the home of Phil Terrace. Not only does he direct your favorite horror movies, but he also likes to collect a lot of junk in his spare time. To find out the answers to all the questions you're dying to know, stay tuned. Well, I guess this is what we waited for. The beautiful home of Mr. Terrace. So let's go in without further ado. You no, know, it uh it's pretty nice for being out in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's the mansion. Mr. Terrace? Well, it looks open, so. Yeah, try it. I guess we'll go in. So. Mr. Terrace? Oh, hey. You must be Brooke. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I've been working on my next project oh, here. Okay, no big deal. Come on in. Thank you for having us. Nice to, nice meet, to you. meet you. Okay, um, I know we're a bit early. We just wanted to get that's, this over and done with. That's okay. Because I know that's you're okay. busy and we're busy too. So. How, how how would you like to do this? Um. Uh, just stay seated at the desk and just face us. Okay. All right like then. This? Oh, that's perfect. Great. Okay, okay, we got the camera rolling. I guess we're all set to go then. Okay, good. Okay. I just have a few questions for you. Okay. I'm game. Okay. Um, the first question I'd like to ask you is, how did you get into filmmaking, Shakiris? Well, I, I never went to film school. I just sort of picked up some cheap equipment, cheap camera, started shooting, checking out different angles, and that's how I got the shots that I like and shots that people love. This brings me to my next question. What made you want to shoot horror movies? Well, you know, no matter how you do it, any time you shock someone, you get sort of a charge on that. At least, at least I do. You know, it's, it's sort of a thrill for me. I don't know, a, a natural high. How do you get your ideas? Because some of the ideas you have in your movies are just so, like, outlandish. Like, you can't believe it. They, they just sort of come to me, you know? How do you make everything so realistic in your movies? Everything looks so real. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry, but... That I just can't talk about. Can't talk about it. Oh, come on, man. I thought we were supposed to get a horror genius, not a comedian. Hmm, okay. It's gonna be great. Come on. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If, if, if I told you, I would have to kill you. Every filmmaker has to keep some secrets. Yeah. So, you really want to know how I do it? Please tell us. I know I want to know. <laughs> 